Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima and my windshield wiper is on. Um, I just left Kroger and I don't think I've bought this many carbs since 2016 before I went um, keto back then. Um, technically they're not for me. Um, I am. Um, they were having a sale. Okay, they had they had a sale. All the all things carbs, cereal, um, chips, cookies were all on sale. And, you know, we're having Christmas is coming up and we're doing a finger food thing. And they had cookies on closeout, y'all. And they had buy two, get one free of my sugar-free chocolate chips. So, that was sugar-free. But I wouldn't call them healthy. Um, and so, yeah, let me show you. Let me just get home, take my little drive of shame back to my house. And I will show you what I got. And I will justify why I got everything I got. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, there is nothing but processed, boxed products here in front of me. So I'm going to share with you what I got and why I got them. You know, right here, just out of your sight, the first thing I got was actually not too bad. I got a ham. It was 99 cents. I actually saved almost 50% of every off of everything. But I bought a ham. That's going to be our Christmas ham. Um, and it was 99 cents a pound, so it was about $10. Um these are also something that we buy regularly. This is the brand that we usually get 10 for 10 or 99 cents each. Right now they're on sale. Um, if you buy five of these or these mix and match with other things, they're $1.99 on sale. So, but that is still cheaper than what we paid the last two times we have had to buy. I've been holding out. I only get one package at a time. Um, because I'm waiting for these to go back on sale, and they haven't. And everything is just getting so incredibly expensive. So I got two of these, and this is because my kids do burritos and soft tacos on Tuesday nights. And so this is what we get. I did also get, see, I'm, I'm, I'm softening you up with all of the good things that I got. Or the not terrible, well, not high carb. We'll call it not high carb. I also got my zero sugar um, brand that is now... A dollar, they used to be 75 cents, y'all. Now they're a dollar 25. Um, a regular, like, name brand Coke or Pepsi is like three dollars a bottle now. It's ridiculous, but I got that, um, just kind of to have if I need it. You know how that goes. And then, y'all know I'm, I'm nuts about chocolate. This is my sweet treat, and Kroger sugar free chocolate chips. Um, where buy two, get one free, which knocked it down to like a dollar, I don't know, seventy, dollar sixty something, dollar seventy, um, a bag. And so I got those. And and that is the end of anything I can be halfway proud of or okay with. Everything after this is only because of the holidays. And parties that we'll be attending. And um, I'm actually, one of the items is for a dish that I'll tell you about in a minute. So, first of all, Townhouse. Um, these were some of the five mix and match by five things, I do believe. Um, and they were, I want to say $2.49. Um, or maybe $1.99. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so I really wanted the original, but I couldn't find the original. And so, I got the dipping fins because we're going to be using these as a, with dips. Um, and then I got the flip sides that have pretzel um, because I thought that would be really cool, especially for kids who love pretzels. And then after I got these two, I found the originals. So, I got the originals too. Um, and all of these were either um, marked down on a big sale where you buy five and you save another dollar or they had coupons. Um, or they were just on sale. And this was a better buy than, um, and per ounce, this was a better buy than the off-brand or name brand. So I got this because, you know, when you're making dips and stuff, like with cream cheese and this stuff, like a fruit dip. So I got that for a fruit dip. And then they had checks for $1.99 um, with a coupon. And I wanted rice checks, but they didn't have any rice checks, like brand, checks brand. And so I got Kroger's brand, but with the name brand, and these were $1.99, um, 
I got corn checks, and these are all going to be for like a checks mix, trail mix kind of thing, or a Muddy Buddy, or Puppy Chow, Puppy Chow, Christmas Chow, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, um, they have peanut butter flavored, and it's gluten free, and I've got gluten free family members, and so I can use these and make a gluten free snack. Um, and then they also have chocolate. So I've got chocolate and peanut butter and rice and corn chicks. And those will all go into some candies, different flavors. I'm going to mix it up. And so I've got plenty to make more than one. And then Fruit Loops, y'all. These were $1.99. Um, and so, yeah, the large sizes were $1.99. And with the coupon. And so I got, you could use it up to five times. I only used it three times. And the other um, two things that I got were Frosted Flakes, which will also go in some Christmas treats. Okay. The next thing I got was Betty Crocker Scout Potatoes. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but they were 49 cents. So I got a box. Um, the old me would have stocked up, but... Honestly, I like, we do fresh potatoes and all that good stuff. So anyway, double macaroni. This is what I'm going to be using in a dish today. And I'll post this video at some point. Um, it is for homemade macaroni and cheese. I made it for the first time uh, on Thanksgiving. And it was a big hit. Even my son-in-law, who was a picky eater, liked it. And so I'm making this to take over to my aunt. Um... She is the one whose daughter passed away um, on the 5th. So, um, we're going to do that today and, and run that over there. Um, these were on closeout. The only reason I bought these, these are the brand of my childhood. I do not buy Nilla wafers. I do not like Nilla wafers. I like this brand. And they were on closeout like they were going out of, sale, out of, out of business. I don't know if they are or not. A lot of these cookies are super like crushed and crumbled and that might be why they're on closeout and um, to get rid of all of these that are all broken but that's okay because i've got recipes where you crush up vanilla wafers so that's not going to be a problem at all um the next thing i got graham crackers i may have y'all heard of christmas crack with the salting crackers um or yeah like it's like a saltine peanut uh, a brittle kind of thing or a what do you call it? Like the Heath Bar brick, Brickle? I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, but sometimes they make it with graham crackers. I may be trying that or I, I may have a, you know, there's so much you can do with graham crackers anyway. Did I tell you I got sugar-free pickles? And this is sugar-free sweet relish. I've missed sweet relish. And so um, I've got, these are bread and butter spears and they are both Kroger brand and they're sugar-free and they're delicious. I love them. Uh, so... That is, is some other decent stuff that I bought. Um, next, pretzels. Because y'all know, you got a chocolate dip pretzels for the holidays. So, I've got that. But this can also go into some kind of trail mix. And then, of course, bugles. I love bugles. This is what I do with them. I put peanut butter in a Ziploc bag, cut the tip off, squirt it inside the bugle, and then dip the opening of the bugle into chocolate. To seal it off and it's delicious and then you can dip that in sprinkles so that's the plan for that these were also on on sale um i believe as part of the you know buy five and again we're going to be dipping things cheese dip and such so there's that ritz crackers um need i say more you know what i usually do is well you can do a couple of different things one thing you can do is make peanut butter sandwiches with them and dip them in chocolate. Those are amazing. You can also flavor chocolate with mint, like mint extract, and then cover them in that, and they take, like, taste like Girl Scout Thin Mints. And so I may do a little bit of that too. I'm not sure, um, but that's that's one of the reasons I bought those. Um, also for dipping, and this is what we use with, we're doing, you know, finger foods, and I'm going to make a cheese log, and this is what we eat our cheese log with. So there's that too. The last two items, can you believe it? The last, I'm looking to make sure the last two items that I got, 
that um, are just, they were on sale. These were on closeout. So I got these just as a little extra snack. I might um, do something special with these, but they're, they're already drizzled. Um, they were about half price. So I got one thing of those. And then these were also marked way down, maybe $1.99 or $2.49 or something like that. And there are a lot of really yummy things you can do with Oreos. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. I'll have to decide later and I'll let you know. But that is my grocery haul. Nothing but carbs, y'all. Um, so yeah, if you, hopefully I'm not going to have another, another grocery haul like this for a long time. Good Lord willing the creeks don't rise. But anyway, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye y'all.